you guys, it's Danielle. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another makeup tutorial for you guys. I'm going to be doing a full face glam makeup tutorial using my BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette on my eyes. So if you guys want to see that, keep watching. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel down below. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss anything. And yeah, let's get started. So I'm zooming you guys like way in for this so you can see my eyes a lot better. I zoomed you so far out for the intro because I'm wearing a tube top and I didn't want it to just look like I'm like wearing nothing the whole video. Okay, so first I'm going to start with my eyes. And I think I want to do like a sunset cut crease today. I'm not really sure yet though. So first I'm going to start by priming my eyes and I'm going to be using my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer in Fair. And I'm just putting this all over both of my lips with my Danielle Creations Concealer Brush. This came from their Eye Essentials Kit that came with four brushes. They're all these like super pretty gold aesthetic handles. They look so gorgeous. Unfortunately, I can't find this set online anywhere. I did get it at Winners. It was like $12.99. But yeah, I can't find it online, so because I use this like every day. <laughs> they always have a, such cheap makeup brushes in like makeup and beauty products and like even hair products at Winners. I love shopping there for my beauty products just because they have such great prices. And you guys know I am broke, so that is right up my alley. And then I'm just going to set this with a little bit of my RCMA No Color Powder. This powder is super, super cheap. I paid like $22 for it on Amazon. I'm pretty sure I couldn't get it to Canada was the problem, but I don't really remember. But it, I checked the other day and it was only like $14 something on their site. So very inexpensive. And I'm just applying this with my Sephora Small Powder Brush. This is again from that brush that I can't find online either. I'm so sorry. I got it for Christmas a while ago. Ooh, okay, we are ready to start. Do you just see like the cloud of dust that came up when I clapped my hands together? Oh my goodness, my face looks so red right now. I'm like looking in the viewfinder, but yeah, I had powder all over my hands and like literally like a cloud just like in front of my face. I don't know if you could actually see that on camera or not, but okay, moving on. So I want to do like sunset colors kind of, but I'm going to do them like reverse. Because these are my favorite colors in the BH Cosmetics palette. So I thought it'd be really cool if I could make a cut crease with them. I want to do the bright orange here, the hot pink, and then like the pinky purple. But I'm going to do like orange, pink, and then purple. I think it'll look really cool. I know that's kind of like reverse sunset colors. I don't know what else to call this though. But I think it's going to look really good. So first I'm going to go in with this bright orange shade here on my e.l.f. blending eye brush. And I'm just going to go back and forth blending this into the crease and a bit above the crease of the front third of both of my eyes because I am going to do a cut crease so I want you to be able to see the shadows above it for sure. I love this palette so much. I literally use it in like all of my creative colorful looks and it's only like $22 or something like that. Like it's a steal for how many eyeshadows you get and the quality. And then once I have the color on there, I'm going to go in with the hot pink shade. And I am just applying this right in like the middle third of my crease and just a bit above the crease as well. And I'm just blending that into the orange where it needs. And I am trying to pack a lot of color on there with all of these eyeshadows just because I want them to be super pigmented. I love this pink shade so much. It's so bright and fun. Ugh. So and now that the pink is on there, I am going to go in with this pinky purpley shade here. I'm looking in the viewfinder and it looks like mostly purple on camera, but it's like more pinky in person. And I'm just going to cover the outside a third of my crease and the outside corner with this. And I am just blending that into the pink as well where they meet. I am really liking the way that this is all blending together. I think these colors look so good together. So now that I've got all that color on there, I'm going to go in with a clean blender brush and then I'm just going to blend at the top of all the colors just so it looks a little bit more seamless. And I'm just doing this really, really lightly, like I'm barely even touching my eye. And now I'm just going to go in with my e.l.f. crease brush, which is basically the same as the eye blending brush. It's just smaller and I'm just adding a little bit more pigment to each of the colors just closer to the crease. I am not bringing it up very far. I'm just trying to get right near the crease of very pigmented. Oh, I just hit pan on the hot orange eyeshadow. And then I'm just doing the same thing with the pink. And then I'm just doing the same thing with a clean blender brush in the top of the eyeshadow and just blending it out so it all looks seamless. 
And now that I have that eyeshadow on there, I am going to go ahead and cut the crease. And I'm doing a full cut crease today, so I'm just using my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer for this and my Danielle Creations Concealer Brush again. Okay, I'm not living for this eye shape to be completely honest, but oh well. Before I set the concealer or put another eyeshadow there, I'm just gonna go over each of the top colors with my Sephora smudge brush and just a little bit of product. Just really, really lightly tapping it above the cut crease just to make it a little bit more pigmented. And I'm doing this before I put another eyeshadow on the cut crease, just in case I get fallout there, I want to be able to just clean it up with some concealer. Oh my goodness, yes, I'm loving this color scheme so far. I don't really, kind of does look like a sunset, I think. Maybe I should have thrown some like yellow in there or something. So now I'm going to go ahead and set the concealer. I'm going to be using this white color up here for my BH Cosmetics 88 Neutral 88 Eye Color Set. I feel like you guys like can't hear me when I hold this up because it's so big. So I'm just putting this all over where the concealer is. This is the lightest eyeshadow I have, so hopefully it'll really make the cut crease stand out. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know why I did the outer corner with the purple as well. I was thinking I was only doing like a half cut crease, but yeah, that was a waste, I guess. So now I'm going to do my lower lash line, and I'm just taking this hot pink color again on my Sephora smudge brush, and I'm just smudging that all along the lower lash line, and just covering the entire lower lash line in this one color. I am really loving how this eye look is turning out so far. I love the colors we have going on. I honestly don't think I'm really going to add any other eyeshadows. I'm just going to do like some glitter liner and then some winged liner and then like an inner corner shade. I think it looks good with just like the blank space and then all the colors above it. Okay, so first I'm going to go in with my, oof, this is dirty, with my NYX Liquid Crystal Liner in gold. And I'm just going to line the cut crease with this. Yes, I love that with the liquid liner. It really like defines the cut crease. That's why I love doing glitter liner like a lot of the time when I do a cut crease because I feel like it just makes it look so much sharper. And now I'm going to put on some gel liner. So I'm going to be using my Body Shop 2-in-1 Smoky Gel Liner. I do have a tutorial already on how I do my liner up on my channel. So that's under the makeup how-tos if you guys want to check it out. Okay, and now that my wing liner's done, I'm also going to add a little bit of my Body Shop Smoky Liner into my waterline. So now that my liner's done, I'm just going to add an inner corner and under the brow bone shade. So I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Blossom Glow. No surprise there. And I'm just taking this on the back of my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that comes with all of their palettes. And I'm just dabbing this into the inner corner. Now I'm going to go ahead and curl my natural lashes. And then I'm just going to coat them in some Wet n Wild Mega Protein Mascara. And I'm just going to do my bottom lashes as well. I can get my bottom lashes literally so long, but then on my top there's like nothing. But it doesn't matter, we have fake lashes, so. And now I'm going to go ahead and put on a pair of fakes, and I'm using a pair of the Ardell Wispy Lashes. These are super, super cheap. I got them in a pack of four and they were like $13 or something like that. So super affordable. So I'm just looking down into a mirror while I apply these. So now I'm going to go ahead and go over the fake lashes with some more of my Wet n Wild Make Protein Mascara. Just trying to blend them with my natural lashes. And then I find that the ends of our Dell Wispies sometimes look like a little bit choppy. So I find if you just try to lengthen them a little bit with some mascara, they look less choppy. If that makes sense, like the hair looks finer and it looks more natural. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my face. So I'm going to zoom you guys back out a little bit. Oh, that's not really... Okay, so first I'm going to prime my face and I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Hydrating Primer. I've been using this stuff like since I got it. It's very inexpensive and it feels really nice on your skin. I just feel like it makes your skin look like blurred after you put it on. So now I'm going to move on to foundation and I'm going to be using my Maybelline Superstay Foundation in Classic Ivory. So I'm just putting a couple squirts of this on my cheeks and then on my forehead. 
And I'm just going to blend this out with a damp makeup sponge. I'm not sure what the brand of this is called. I got it at Winners a little while ago. It was like $8. And now I'm going to move on to concealer, and I'm going to be using my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer. I have been using this in like most of my videos since I started. It's definitely the best drugstore concealer that I have found. So I'm just putting this on all the high points of my face. So I'm putting it under my eyes to cover up my dark circles and bring some light there. I always use concealer to help me highlight and contour as well. And then I just bring it down on my nose too in the shape I kind of want my nose contour to go in. Although I am like the first to admit I am terrible at nose contour. I don't know how anyone gets it to look the way they do, but like I just, I can't crack the code. I cannot figure it out but I'm still gonna try I still feel like it makes my nose look better but like I really can't like get like a cute little snatch nose like I see all the beauty gurus doing but we're still gonna try <laughs> and I just a little bit on my forehead and I just down in the center of my nose I feel like it's partially because makeup does not stay on my nose very well at all like I feel like it's there for like five minutes and then just like bye so now I'm going to move on to contour. I'm going to do a cream contour today and I'm using my Wet n Wild, I should probably roll it out, my Wet n Wild Dual Ended Contour Stick. The stick is like $4 and it's honestly pretty good quality. So I'm just sculpting out my cheekbones with that, then running it along my jawline, trying to straighten my jawline out a little bit. Then just around my forehead, focusing on the outside corners. Just trying to slim those down a little bit, just under my lip. And then I'm actually going to be using my e.l.f. liner brush to apply it on my nose, just so I can get a really sharp line. And I'm first going to go ahead and blend out the concealer with my damp makeup sponge. I'm going to leave a little bit on my nose unblended though, and I'm going to blend that out once I do my nose contour. Well, once I like blend it out. And I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetics 121 brush to blend out my nose contour. This is basically just like a little tiny angled flat top buffing brush. It came in my BH Cosmetics Face Sculpt and Blend set. So it's like $16, I think. And you got a decent amount of brushes. So it's a really good deal. And then I'm just blending out the sides after that is done. I feel like this is like literally the best nose contour I've ever done and it's really not even good. But oh well. And then I'm going to go ahead and with my Crown Pearl Contour Brush and blend out the rest of my contour. So now that my face is all contoured, I'm going to go ahead and set it with my, oh my goodness, this is so dirty, my RCMA No Color Powder. Oh, this is already like all over my hands. I always make such a mess with this powder. So I'm just using my Sephora Large Powder Brush to set my entire face with this. And then I'm just going to go in with the same powder and a damp makeup sponge and just bake the sides of my nose contour and just under my under eyes. And then I'm also just going to try and clean up my contour line with this as well. And, and now I'm just going to go back in with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Blossom Glow. And I'm just putting this on the tops of my cheekbones. My chin. Forehead. And then I'll just dab a little bit on my cupid's bow. Okay, that's kind of a lot of it, not a little bit. But, you know, whatever. And then I am just using my e.l.f. smudge brush to apply this to my nose. And then I'm just going to go ahead and wipe away all that excess powder. So now I'm going to move on to brows and I'm first just going to brush them through with a spoolie. I do have a brow tutorial up on my channel already. I actually just posted an updated one. So if you guys want to see that, I will link it at the end screen. Okay, so now that my brows are done, I'm going to move on to lips, and I think I'm just going to use a gloss today because I feel like I have, like, a lot going on in the eyes, so I want, like, a pretty neutral lip look. So I'm going to be using my Body Shop Shine Liquid Lip in the shade Sugar Glaze. I love the applicator for this one, so I'm just applying that all over my lips. It literally looks like donut glaze or something, but it has, like, a bit of a pink color to it, too. 
Alrighty, so we're basically all done now. I'm just going to hit my face with some setting spray. That is the e.l.f. Illuminating Mist and Set. I believe it's like $8 or something like that. Pretty cheap. So this is the finished look. I'm really loving how it turned out. Those are my three favorite shades from the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. So I've been wanting to do a look with them together for a little while and I'm really, really liking it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you did like the video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you want to hang out a little longer. And yeah, that's all for today. Thank you so, so much for watching and I love you guys so much. I will see you in my next video. So have a fabulous weekend, everyone. I will see you on Monday. Bye for now.